This is the Black Wolf Turbo Light Plus 24010 set up behind me here. It comes in both a light and a canvas version. I'm going to take you for a full walkthrough today and tell you about all the features. Let's have a look. Hit it. Ben from Sony's here guys down in the beautiful Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park in Adelaide's eastern suburbs. Now this is a really quiet getaway for you if you live in Adelaide or a great place to park your van or set up a tent if you're just passing through. I've got some space down here today to run through some products with you and this is the Black Wolf Turbo Plus 240. I've got the light version set up behind me here. It comes in both a light and a canvas version. I'm going to run through all the features and differences for you. Now this is a great tent for just general family camping or even for touring families. It's got two rooms with a divider in the middle so you've got a sleeping area at the back plus living space or you've got a separate room for mum and dad. When it's packed up they measure about 125 centimeters in length by roughly 30 centimeters in diameter and the light version weighs in at about 24 kilos whereas the canvas one about 32 kilos. And we'll start by telling you about the fabrics. Now the light version here, the fly sheet is 150 denier ripstop polyester and this has got a 2000 mil waterhead. Now if you'd buy the canvas version, this would be a 230 GSM ripstop poly cotton canvas which would have a 5000 millimeter waterhead. And moving back to the inner tent here, this on the light version is also 150 denier ripstop polyester. On the canvas version, a 230 GSM ripstop poly cotton canvas. The mesh in the doors and windows does differ between the light and the canvas as well. This is a fine mesh in here, whereas with the canvas version, you get a really heavy duty um, fiberglass mesh. It's much stiffer and much less prone to ripping or catching anything in it. And moving down to the floor, the light version is a 500 denier um, polyester with a 5,000 millimeter water head, whereas the canvas version is a 600 denier siliconized polyester with a 10,000 millimeter water head, so a lot more weather protection on the base there. And the frame, there's a slight difference. The light version, a 23 millimeter tubular aluminium frame here, whereas the canvas version has a 25 millimeter frame. But these alloy knuckles here are the same as is the plastic hub at the top there. And stepping around to the side of the turbo tent here, uh, we've got guy ropes, two guy ropes on each corner of the tent and they feature in their own little storage pockets here. So they zip away, makes it easy for pack up, they're not hanging around and getting tangled up in things. Always recommend using the guy ropes when you've got to set up for a long period. I'm going to take this down shortly so I don't need to set them up today. Moving a little further along, uh, there's this window which sits underneath this cutout of the fly here. So all these fabrics here are waterproof. The flies just cut away above the window here. Um, and this window can be set up in one of three ways. Firstly, how it is here, completely zipped closed. Alternatively, we can zip it right open. There's a little Velcro tab at the bottom here as well. And we can roll this right up and out the way to allow ventilation through the tent. There's tabs at the top here, so we can secure this in place. And the third option is to set it up as a gusseted window. There's two zips in here. Uh, if we undo the low, uh, do up, sorry, the lower zip, it creates this little gusset, one on each side. And then there's brass eyelets in the corners. We can use the extra guy ropes that came with your kit to peg this out as a gusseted window like this to allow ventilation in while the rain stays out. Now this window features on this side and is mirrored on the other side of the tent. And the window at the rear of the tent that you see there features all the same features. So you can also peg that one out as a gusseted window too. I want to step inside the tent and show you the features in there because that's pretty much it for the outside. I'm just coming inside the 240 plus tent here. Now I've got it set up with some air beds to show how you might live in this space. Now, in terms of how much room you've got, it's about 240 by 240 or just under by my measurements, a couple of centimetres under in that front section. So that's up to this divider here. And then from this divider back, it's still 240 wide, but it goes another 180 centimetres in depth. So I've got a double high queen air bed in the back here, which is about 200 centimetres long, about 150 centimetres wide. It's just touching in the back corners here. No room for storage, but it does fit pretty comfortably and you could fit two, sleep two people comfortably in the back here. It's also about 50 odd centimetres high, so you'd fit a stretcher back here as well. In terms of other features in the back, there is a little storage pocket here. It's actually got four little pockets in this storage area here. That's the only storage pocket in the tent. And you've got this window at the back here, and just above that is a little lantern hook. Dividing this rear room with the front room are these zipper dividers here. So if we undo one of these, we can create two separate zones inside the tent. This has got a zip that runs across the top and also a zip down the middle here. So we can actually zip this side and this side together to create two separate zones. And then in the front here, these are two 
XL single air beds, which are about 190 centimeters in length and about a meter in width. So they fit pretty comfortably here with walking access down the middle to get to the rear room of the tent. Each side here are the windows. And as I move up in the tent here, in terms of height, about 190 centimeters at the very peak of the tent here. So I can stand just off center a little bit. Just under the peak is a little plastic lantern hook that we can hang the lights off of. And below that is this loop. Now this is actually the handle to help collapse the tent down. So don't hang anything too heavy on that or your tent's gonna collapse on you during the night. So each side of that are a couple of uh, roof vents, internally openable roof vents. So that's gonna help a lot with condensation inside the tent, particularly on cold nights. I'll we'll also mention the seam ceiling around the top here. All of these seams here, uh, sealed and waterproof. So the tent's gonna be reasonably waterproof without the fly, but we always recommend you use the fly for full weather protection. Leading down from this clip here, uh, some Velcro tabs on the corners here for securing a power cord. And that runs right down to a power access point. The other thing I haven't talked much about is this awning at the front of the tent here. And this is about two meters wide from pole to pole or edge to edge here and about 1.8 meters out from the tent. Now underneath here are all the zips and Velcro that you need to be able to secure optional walls and also even screen rooms inside here to be able to enclose this room or this awning for an extra room inside your tent. Now Black will say this sleeps seven people, but realistically it's a good tent for a family of four or it's got sleeping space and living space for a touring couple. Now you can grab these online at snowies.com day at our lowest prices every day. Got any questions about it, let us know down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this one here, subscribe to our channel and we'll send you all the latest information or head here for some more Black Wolf Turbo videos.